so this is this is really remarkable. I went into Barry's office about 10:30 this morning. Right? Barry, congratulations! And, and he went to the blackboard, and all of a sudden he's giving me this lecture about sulfur chemistry and and, and the character of you know SO bonds and fluorine bonds, and and I'm just going. Isn't there anything else on your mind? Yeah, right. <laughs> so, so this is this is our colleague. This is pure Barry. Got the Nobel Prize. Hey, can I show you some data? I'm working on the next one. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, Barry, congratulations. We're thrilled for you. We're thrilled for Scripps. And, Thank you. Guys. And, 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 and Donna Blackman's going to make a few uh, additional oh, comments. Oh, that's wonderful. I just want to say we all know. Barry's a Scripps treasure. I think he's a national and international treasure, but he's certainly a treasure for us here at Scripps. And I have the same experiences about trying to talk to Barry, um, hanging on for something that I might be able to say something intelligent about while he, you know, when he's talking. But the year before I moved here, when they were renovating my labs, I made a few trips. And one trip, Barry said, oh, you know, I'll pick you up at the hotel, we'll go to dinner. I get to the hotel, and they said, oh, there's a package for you. And it was the paper I'd written, it was an essay I wrote for Angabat de Camille on microscopic reversibility. And Barry had annotated it. And the first page was a few comments, I turn it over. Next page, Xerox copy, turn it over. More comments. The third page, the whole back of the empty pages commented the next one. It was just completely full of his comments. And I was supposed to read that all and be able to talk intelligently to him over dinner about it. It's fantastic to get into the sweep of the way he thinks, and it just is, it's, it's, it's infectious. So, cheers again for Mary. Thank you, Diamond. Cheers. Wow. I vividly remember I was a graduate student at Stanford, and Henry Talby won the Nobel Prize. And, and I was just like completely blown away that I was part of that. By the way, he's my and biggest so, hero, Tal. Talby's great. Yeah. And so thank you for giving us that opportunity. Yeah, the next idea is pretty good, I think. It, it just happened to be lucky as hell this time. Uh, and we're maybe kind of have something we can make some money with that. But maybe I have to do that for a while because I suppose the change, right? Okay. Well, well, we'll make sure nobody bothers you. <laughs> oh, no, I need, I need a team. No committee work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> One more round for Barry. Thank you. Thank you everybody.